What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash, coming back to Real Takes. Well, it looks like we have a teaser trailer for a movie titled Kandahar. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. My apologies if I'm not. Don't know anything about this one. I did see the thumbnail starring a fave, Gerard Butler. And pretty much curious from that standpoint. I know he just recently had a movie called Plane. I have yet to see it, but I need to get on that ASAP. I'm always here for anything where I'm definitely getting my drama, suspense, my action. And I feel like this is no different. So with that said, let's go and jump into it. Say the rest of my thoughts and then you guys. What's the job? We're gonna destroy their whole nuclear program. Listen, is that right? Breaking news exposing the CIA's oh, sabotage of Iran's nuclear reactor. Our cover's blood. We're leaving 15 minutes. Stretch in point. There's an old CIA base in Kandahar. Just want to go home, and I'll be with you. Oh. The distance is not the main issue. It's what's in between. I didn't even catch my guys. I'll sell them to the highest bidder. No one is coming to rescue us. We have to get to Kandahar. Get down! All right, you guys, I enjoyed this trailer. Now, this type of storyline, I feel like I've seen it multiple times over the course of, what, three decades. But I always say, you know, if it's, you know, a different take and a different casting, then, you know, I'm totally down for this. Now, with Butler's character, you see he, of course, you know, is, I think a CIA operative and he's there for a mission. Mission looked like it was successful, but then in a turn, he's dealing with the fact that his identity, he's been revealed. And it looks like now him and his translator, and I was excited because I saw who he was. The translator is played by, I want to say, Navid. I want to say, uh, Negabon. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. My apologies if I'm not. I'm a fan of a lot of his work. He's done, what was another movie I've read? Kind of like an Extraction Point movie, too, called 12 Strong <laughs> with Chris Hensworth. And I know he did my show, Homeland. So seeing that the two have to, what is it? Uh, I think they have to go to an extraction point. I think it was called, titled uh, Kandahar, which is the title of the film. And it looks like from what I saw, if I'm not mistaken, I think it said something like, what, 400 miles, 30 hours, till they're able to be, you know, picked up so they can get out of there. And of course, all encompasses as they're traveling, pretty much having to deal with all these probably hidden little areas of ways to slow them down, you know, dealing with, you know, detonations, things of that nature. You know, some people on their back on their trail and the, anticip the intensity of that anxiety of you know are they going to make it adds a little bit of extra like I say suspense and drama to the film which I'm here for I'm hoping both these characters make it in this film it can go either way so I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see this one I'm gonna keep tabs on this if it's not in the theater I would definitely de watch it at home on demand it's one of those ones I, like I stated before I'm always here for the drama the suspense in the action and Butler definitely always gives it so I'm here for that so with that said comment below let me know what you think and with that said I'll see you guys in the next reaction you guys take care